Oh. Hi, welcome to another episode of Beer 30. My name is Greg. And my name is Josh. And today we have some beers from the Ska Brewing Company. This is right up your alley, Greg. You're a big Ska fan, right? Well, okay. Yeah, remember that... Uh, well, okay, I was always into the punk you music. and this, this Ska... Look, I still like ska music, mustard plug, uh, uh, there's <laughs> Bunko 9, uh, there was a ton. At the what time. about the Boss Tones? Boss Tones, yeah. um, you know, Operation Ivy, kind of. Anyway. Okay, well, anyway, I don't, ha- I don't have to show you that, uh, <laughs> you're, you're ska dumb. Yeah. <laughs> Remember that uh, summer of 1996 where all of a sudden it got popular and then, yeah, then you weren't into it anymore? Because once things went popular, Greg was like, I was like, nah! So you found this sampler I really pack, like them. 12 pack of uh, Mixed Up 12, it's called, from the Sky yeah. Brewing Company. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Yeah, it's got, look, uh, it's got a little, uh, little uh, skull guy, uh, root boy on there. We got three different beers in here. There's four of each. True Blonde Ale, Modus Hopperendi, and ESB Special Ale. All right, let's uh, so let's try them all. Let's do it. Glasses here, three beers. Pick it up, pick it up, pick let's it up. Let's go with this True Blonde Ale first. So it's pretty cool artwork. I mean, they really went out. It's got like a little a little girl in her little plaid skirt, ponytail, and it's, a little moped. It's very. It's got the checkerboard and all that. It's very. It's ska. It's like uh, in front of a toaster's album. So where'd you get this, Greg? I got this at uh, <laughs> our, our favorite grocery store, Schnucks. And uh, how you much was it for a? Uh, um, this is really cheap. Eight ninety nine. Eight ninety nine for a twelve pack. I was like, that's a steal. I've never tried anything from Ska Brewing. I like the I like the whole ska. You know, movement and all that. They have like their dates stamped on here at the bottom, but it's really, it's kind of smeared. I don't know what the born on or brewed on or whatever date is there, but I did notice that it didn't really pop. It's not on the box. I mean, uh, all all three of them could have different brewed on. Okay. Oh, Best Buy, uh, 11th of April, 2014 on this one. We're in the the range. All right, so this one is a blonde ale. Um, it's from Durango, Colorado. Oh, have you ever, didn't mention that. You ever been to Durango? I never have, Greg. I have. They actually have a train that goes from Silverton to Durango and back. That's pretty much all it is. And I think Silverton is like the little town that there's nothing there except the railroad to get back to Durango. Or maybe the other way around. I can't remember. It's uh, brewed with uh, a slice light enough. Not to overwhelm tasty greens, regardless of dressing. Uh, it's mildly sweet from the use of some local honey. I do taste a little bit of uh, there's a faint sweetness to it. Yeah, it's tasty though. Yeah, this is very sessionable beer. I like it. It's pretty good. So these guys, uh, doing a little bit of research here, and these guys started this brewery in 1995 because they weren't during the ska and, movement yeah and also here that you and i graduated high school no no we're much, much younger than that <laughs> but they must have uh, been about this must be about the same age as us because they said that they weren't old enough to drink beer yet so they started brewing their own now we waited till we're 21 of course yeah yeah so but uh this is uh, the true blonde ale that's pretty good i like it yeah i'm I'm pretty impressed. It, this, anyone, I think any, this is one. It's easy for anyone to drink. Yeah, definitely. All right, what do you want to do? You want to go on? You know, we should uh, between takes. We should, we should all. Ba, 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 ba. No, so this I'm is gonna make uh, you do it. Modus operandi. Oh, so close to me, anyway. <laughs> but you know, I so this one, it's you. You gotta know something about that. That's gotta be a play on words of something else, right? Or, well, it's you know, it's like basically saying there's a lot of hops. Oh, okay. Modus hop, right? Modus. 
So uh, operandi, operandi. Shows uh, some guy and a gal dancing on here. It says lip up, fatty. Oh, what that means. Anyway, there's three guys. Fatty lady skank. This main guy here, uh, yeah, he's, a, he's got a skull. He's got a suit and tie on. Yeah. And he's got a. You know, skull. That's called a rude boy when they dress in the. Uh, That's right. Suit and tie. Go the. I, I never really understood that because you go to a show. And uh, you're doing a lot of dancing and stuff. Man, it gets hot if you're in a suit. I never did that. I was more of the shorts wearing, big t shirt wearing type yeah. of ska fan. So that's got a nice amber color to it. Um, more hoppy beer, apparently. This is their uh, IPA, actually. Is it? Well, this one says. Oh, um, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Yeah, IPA. Definitely a lot of hoppy. Yeah. Set there. Yeah. Very cool. That's pretty good too. Yeah, I'm surprised it didn't really pour much of a head though. Yeah, it did, didn't. I did my best to try to get one, but it, they all yeah, seem even, like even shaking it up. You get a little. Yeah. But um, I don't know. This one's not bad. It's not. <clears throat> I'd say it's uh. It's pretty heavy on the pine. Yeah. But I don't think it's as bitter as one of the, the normal IPAs, you know? Yeah. It's I think pretty smooth. It's, really, it's pretty smooth. Can says, walk, kite, recycle, hide, seek, plant, recycle, grow, shower, tube, recycle. Well, you know, all these have different things. Yeah. Golf, luge, recycle, barbecue, toboggan, recycle, fish, luau, recycle, live, hike, recycle. Recycle is a theme. B, float, recycle, ska, B, Q, play, recycles, picnic, rally, recycle, adopt, noodling, recycle. There you have it. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's pretty good, too. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. It's not offensive in any way. It's true. Well, three for three. I didn't even read anything about this ska, the uh, uh, Lotus Operandi. Mix of citrus and pine that will remind you of the time you went on a vision quest with your Native American cousin and woke up in a pine grove full of grapefruit trees. Yeah. That's exactly what I thought when I was drinking it. I well, didn't have to read that. <laughs> yeah. Now, I don't pick up much grapefruit. Uh, I know a lot of these IPAs you will. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, maybe a little from the scent, but uh, I can't really taste much grapefruit. But I do pine, definitely. We always seem like we struggle finding the great food in these, though. Yeah, but some you can. Well, uh, this was 6.8% ABV, while the uh, True Blonde was uh, right at 5%. Okay. Last up, we have the ESB Special, special, special Ale. Ale. So what does ESB stand for, Greg? Extra Special Bitter. Wow. This is handcrafted <laughs> in Durango, Colorado. I get it, too. Yep. I don't hear much of the psh. Yeah, I hear more of the k. Yeah. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying, yeah, you really summed that up for us. Well, very descriptive. You know, uh. Are you saying that? Well, this one's poor. This one's getting head. a little more head than the others. So, okay, that was stupid. But we can and we did. We can sum up with can puns all day. We can do it. Can. I don't really tell us anything about the beer. That explains it. A caramel overtone prevails with some tart fruit notes. The initial flavor is crisp, but then the sweet caramel tones prevail. A final swallow lends itself to balance with just a hint of chocolate in the finish. Hmm. Let's see if we get that. Oh, the smell not hitting that much. I don't know. When it's colder too, you yeah, have the smell go. <laughs> It's supposed to be extra special bitter? I don't find it bitter. Yeah, I do. I don't pick up a lot of flavor. Yeah, I don't either. That's actually, is actually my, if I was going to grade all these, which I'm gonna eventually do. do. That's, what, <laughs> that's what we do on this show. Um, 
So, what do you think about this? I mean, you didn't really go into a whole lot of detail here, but I think I know where you're going with this. Um, well, let me start with, let's do words to first, okay? Um, I definitely don't think the ESB is my favorite, um, I mean, 5.8% ABV. Now, I've had other ESBs before. Um, this one just kind of, to me, like we we're saying, you're saying, I don't think it has much on the flavor. Sorry, but this one, um, I'm gonna have to give like a C. Wow. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's very, very good. Look, I'm gonna finish that. <laughs> I'll finish what's in here too. <laughs> tonight. Not to oh come on now. <laughs> I didn't mean to divulge your secrets. Yeah. Carry on. Okay. Um I'm going to say that the blonde and the IPA are pretty close together. I think these are really solid beers. I think just personal preference, I think I like the IPA a little bit better than the blonde. I would I would probably give their IPA about an A minus, and probably this blonde a B plus. Hmm. Um, but you know what? For a company that uh, we've never done anything with, I really think I'm I'm excited to try more from them. And these, it, at least two of these, are really uh, good in my opinion. Well, and I mean, they've been around for a while, uh, going on 20 years now, and. You know, they're a, um, sorry to make you feel old because that's when we graduated. Can I remind you again? Yeah, well, uh, they're easier to find in uh, our neighborhood, too. So. Well, they're, they're uh, from Boulder, Colorado. They're a craft brewery, obviously, but they've been successful. Um, I, I have to say that uh, probably the True Blonde Ale is my least favorite. I kind of dig this uh, ESP here. Oh, yeah? I think it's a pretty, pretty decent beer. It's not a ton of flavor. It's not something... That really knocks you out, but uh, it, it's 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 nice. I mean, it's a nice drinking beer, and the and the IPA is right there with it. I would give both of these beers probably an A minus, and I'm gonna give that True Blonde Ale a B. But good stuff. We'll finish these, no problem. All right. Cheers. Cheers. And Skank it up. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite? Ska song, Josh. I don't know. It's gotta be a Boston song. Right? Really? So, Big Boston song. Someday. Someday you know. Someday I suppose. We get the feeling that we just like beer. And like we we don't really we don't have like, a whole lot of subjective. No, we like beer. 